Hello everyone. Today we are going to conduct the Kirchhoff's current law experiment. That is KCL. This is the circuit diagram of the Kirchhoff's current law. This is the RPF supply. The supply pass to terminal and the negative terminal. One kilo ohm and two point two kilo ohm and the three point three kilo ohm resistors. And these are the ammeters. The ammeters are used to find the current passing through the each and every resistor. And now we will connect the circuit. And after connecting the circuit, slowly we will apply the voltage and we will measure the currents across the each and every resistors. Okay, now let's connect. So this is the one kilo ohm resistor here. This is the one kilo ohm resistor. Okay, for this one kilo ohm resistor, RPS positive. This is called as RPS positive. Okay, if you see the RPS here, this is called as a RPS regulated power supply. Pass two is connected to one kilo ohm resistor here. RPS pass two is connected to one kilo ohm resistor first terminal. Okay, and next we see the RPS negative terminal here. RPS negative. This is called as a RPS negative. RPS negative is connected to ground. So this is called as a RPS negative. RPS negative. I am connecting to the ground. RPS negative is connected to the ground. Next, this is the ammeter one. Okay, this ammeter one, ammeter one pass two is connected to one kilo ohm second terminal. So this is the ammeter one. This ammeter one pass two is connected to one kilo ohm second terminal. Okay, next, this ammeter negative, and this ammeter negative, and the two point two kilo ohm first terminal. Both are connected. Okay, now I am connecting 2.2 kilo ohm like this. So this is a 2.2 kilo ohm resistor. I am connecting randomly. Okay, so for this 2.2 kilo ohm first terminal, okay, this ammeter negative is connected. So this is called as ammeter negative. Okay, this ammeter negative is connected to 2.2 kilo ohm first terminal. Okay. I am connecting this two uh, ammeter negative is connected to two point two kilo ohm first terminal. Next, ammeter two positive. So this is called as a ammeter two. Okay, this ammeter two positive is connected to two point two kilo ohm second terminal. Ammeter negative is connected to ground. So if you see the ammeter here, this is called as ammeter two. Ammeter two positive is connected to two point two kilo ohm second terminal. Okay. Next, ammeter negative is connected to ground. Okay, so up to here the connections are completed. Now, if you see the right side, ammeter three positive is connected to this two point two kilo ohm first terminal, and this ammeter negative is connected to three point three kilo ohm first terminal. Okay, now if we take the uh, resistor here, this resistor. I'm the uh, ammeter. This 3.3 kilo ohm resistor is connected to. Uh, I'm connecting this randomly. Here. Okay. This ammeter three positive is connected to one kilo. Ohm. Sorry, ammeter three positive is connected to this 2.2 kilo ohm first terminal. Okay. This 2.2 kilo ohm first terminal. Next ammeter negative is connected to 3.3 kilo ohm first terminal, and this 3.3 kilo ohm second terminal is connected to ground. Okay, now we take the one more resistor. ंड्रेड टू ग्रउ Okay, this is the total circuit connection of the KCL, Kirchhoff's current law. Okay, now after connecting this circuit, 
now we will apply the voltage slowly okay it is a1 a2 a3 okay if we apply the voltage here at 15 volts if we apply the 15 volts slowly increase the rps okay at 15 volts we are getting this is 6.4 a1 is equal to 6.4 and a2 is equal to 3.9 and the a3 is equal to 2.6 okay now i am increasing the rps from 15 to 20 volts okay if i increase the rps from 15 to 20 volts okay we will get a1 is equal to 8.5 milliamps and the a2 is equal to 5.3 milliamps and the a3 is equal to 3.5 milliamps we will get now i will increase the rps from 20 to 25 volts okay now i am taking the supply voltage is 25 at 25 volts we are getting i1 is equal to that is a1 is equal to around 10.7 milliamps and the a2 is equal to 6.5 milliamps and the a3 is equal to 4.5 milliamps okay so these are the values we will get if you see the circuit here here yeah, this a1 is nothing but the current passing through the 1 kilo ohm resistor this a2 is nothing but the current passing through 2.2 kilo ohm resistor a3 is nothing but the current passing through 3.3 kilo ohm resistor so if you see the table or column these are the values we got up to now it is approximately we will get the same here okay if we calculate the values here so assume that it is i1 okay it is i2 and it is i3 values okay if we calculate the if i take the supply voltage is equal to 10 volts here if we take the supply voltage is equal to 10 volts we got the according to the kcl i1 is equal to entering current is equal to i2 plus i3 are the leaving currents okay i1 is equal to 4.5 milliamp that is approximately equal to 2.7 plus 1.8 if we calculate 2.7 plus 1.8 the approximately we will get 4.5 milliamps okay so like this we will get the values okay if we take the second value also 6.7 is approximately equal to i1 is equal to i2 plus i3 if we calculate i2 plus i3 we will get approximately equal to 6.7 milliamps okay like this we will verify the kcl for the 10 volts 15 volts and 20 volts